Hey, great question there. So this is what I do professionally is I work with businesses, help them save money on their benefits and implement benefits that are can help attract and keep their best employees. And the way that I do that from a white, pace, uh, white space perspective or a blue ocean strategy is I like to go in four to six times a year. I have one company, actually an entire um, office building, five floors, where I actually on a monthly basis just talk about financial topics from Social Security, Medicare, buying a house, retirement, financial fitness, budgeting, just simple things to help people get back on track financially. That's really the big marketing piece. I'm documenting my process uh, online because I'm shifting from working with um, the medical professions to business owners. So I want to be able to showcase to people, number one, that are in my industry, how do you shift from going from one marketing strategy to another, focusing on businesses and 401k plans and then also I want to be able to attract people that aren't interested in my industry to hopefully have a look at it. The problem that we have in my industry is it's a silver tsunami. 78% is white male, 56 years old and older. Obviously, I don't fit that marker, and I want to be able to attract women and other, other minorities into our business to be able to satisfy and serve people. Um, I also have a duplex where I have a real estate investing, and my, my buddy and I were looking at other opportunities to expand that portfolio, and that's more passive income. And so the reason why I um, follow Gary Vee so heavily and is active on what he does, number one, is he gives out an amazing amount of content. I read Crush It, read Thank You Economy, read Ask Gary Vee a couple times. And so I um, met him last year, February 2016, and we just had a brief conversation. It was after an industry meeting, and um, it was then that planted the seed of being able to um, really not allow a comp compliance to really push my narrative and my voice as I document who I am and what I am into the marketplace. And so I've been a financial advisor for over 12 years. I'm also coach and develop 24 financial advisors. So definitely not my first rodeo. I want to be able to share. Um, so I identified my why um, and really it came down to that. I want to leave a legacy by positively impacting people. And I found the reason why I was attracted to financial services is because I can help people. And one of their most important things that's earning an income and most importantly is what to do with that income. And so oftentimes from a volunteer perspective, I volunteer in my organization, but then I'll go speak at universities about how, um, you know, the resume is dead and how um, they should be looking at really uh, the River City ransom of their career and not feeling like they have to be loyal to one organization if they're not giving them value to really go into, into their strengths and mask their weaknesses and ultimately want to be able to make sure that my voice is heard and also document it. You can hear my kids in the background um, for them. So that way they can hear my struggle the moment that it's happening. And from a legacy perspective, they can see it, they can watch it. Not that, because, you know, uh, a struggle that I'm dealing with right now is a footnote five years from now. So that's, that's me in a nutshell. And uh, thanks for asking. Have a great day, everybody.